Hello, young man. Such a delight to have a new visitor. What can I do for you? I'm from the insurance company. I'm so sorry for your loss. Henri, my poor Sauvage. He died in his prime. Could I just ask you a few questions? Well, why not? A little company might just pep me up, as you Americans might say. Can you tell me about the gallery? Was the business doing well? The gallery was Henri's baby. He never spoke to me about it. So you weren't involved? Not at all. Business is not my thing. Henri was very brave at the gallery. He tried to stop the thief and paid the ultimate price. Henri was my lion and my little pussycat. How are you coping? I'm still trying to take it in, Cherie. Your record player seems to be stuck on the same song. Yes, this song gives me great comfort. It reminds me of Henri. Bijou, I think someone involved with the gallery helped the thief. It wasn't Hector Lane. He's not devious enough. But who else? I don't know. But I will get to the bottom of it, I promise you. Do you know this company, Vera Security? No, I don't. I've never heard of them. That's lovely, dear. Does this smell good to you? It's heavenly, isn't it? Oh, he loved it. Thank you for your help, Lizzie. My pleasure, young man. Do come back any time. Bijou appeared to know nothing. I still couldn't discount Lane. Annette, on the other hand, had lied about Vera Security's owner. Hysteria was playing the same tune over and over again. You have a beautiful home, Bijou. Oh, thank you. I do like beautiful things. A small stuffed dog sat on the table. Poor creature. Was that a tear in its glassy eye? Two lovers in twine. Reminded me of that party game with the map. The artist was entering his cubist phase. A subtle birthmark was the only blemish on the model's flawless skin. The subject looked vulnerable as she clasped her knees. The view through to the Bois de Boulogne was stunning. America is my country and Paris is my hometown. The subject stared casually out at the world. Sherry, please don't touch my table. I keep everything in perfect order. The cluttered dressing table was covered with mysterious things. Henri was now dressed in a cheap suit. On balance, I prefer the waistcoat. Night was falling. Annette would have left for the evening. It was time to pay a visit to Vera Security. The empty mall was lit by bright moonlight. 
the perfect ambiance for a little detective work. I wanted a good look at that back office. I just had to find a way in. There was no way I could force the shutter open with my bare hands. I needed to find another way. It was the shutter control. There was no sign of a button or a keyhole. It must have been controlled remotely. A wire ran up to the electrical box above. There was an electrical box up there, but I couldn't reach it from the ground. The empty box had been left out overnight. No one would have wanted to steal it. Rearranging the sign had been a stroke of genius, even if I do say so myself. All Bassam's stuff was safely locked away. Rearranging the sign, the box was in the perfect position to access the beam above. the lid open. Inside was an air con unit and bingo, the master controls for the shutters. The wire connected the shutter motor to the master controller. It was the master controller for the shutters. The wire connected the power supply to the master controller. It was the motor that operated the shutters. The wire connected the shutter motor to the master controller. There was no way I could force the shutter open with my bare hands. It was the shutter control. I'd have to get up there again to take a closer look.
In the drawer was a single Q-tip. It was my lucky day. It hadn't been used. The room was pitch black. I couldn't see a thing. corner of the room was a pizza delivery scooter, just like the one the killer had escaped on. There was a letter jammed in the shredder. The shredder was jammed. I tried to free the gears, but they were jammed solid. Its service was long overdue. The shredder was jammed. There was a letter jammed in the shredder. Oil had dripped from the scooter onto the floor. It was a pizza delivery scooter. Oil had dripped from the scooter onto the floor. I smeared some oil onto the cotton bud. I smeared the gears with oil. It was time to see what was in the letter. I grabbed the paper clip.
It was the letter from Henri confirming that Vera Security had the contract for the exhibition. And it also revealed who was in charge at Vera, a guy called Madofsky. At first glance, it all seemed pretty run of the mill. But why was Henri thanking Madofsky for being generous? And why was he pleased to represent him? Maybe Madofsky was the owner we've been looking for. It didn't add up. I had a gut feeling. There was something fishy going on. The air vent had a tiny catch on the side. The paper clip was perfect for the job. There was definitely something in there. Now, what are you gotcha? Well, would you believe it? It was a gun, and very likely the one that had been used to shoot Henri. Aha! So, what have we here? L'Américain, Monsieur Stobart. You will rue the day you crossed my path, because now you are caught in my net like a little red herring. Inspector, I'm investigating the robbery. No, monsieur. You are breaking and entering an innocent storeroom. I found the murder weapon. Found? No. Planted? Yes. Mou, arrest this man and take him to the station. I shall squeeze you, monsieur Stobart. Until your pips squeak. Thanks, Ronnie. I just wish I'd got some better shots of the killer. Are you kidding? That stuff from the hip is very dramatic. You did good, Nico. So, what's next? Get me an interview with the owner, and you've got Sunday's front page. I'm on it already. Keep me up to speed. Let me know before you write anything up, okay? Of course. Oh, gotta go. Someone at the door. Monsieur? Are you Nicole Collard? Yes, can I help you? I need to sit down. You'd better come in. Would you like a glass of wine? Yes, those stairs are a nightmare. Hmm, that's better. So, what can I do for you, monsieur? My name is Tiago Marquez. I saw your report on the robbery. I found your address. I came straight away. I needed to see you. And why is that? The stolen painting, La Malediction. It belongs to me. Ronnie had wanted me to interview the owner. And now, here he was. Or rather, he was somebody who claimed to be the owner. So this stolen painting is yours. Tell me more. La Maledicción belonged to my family in Catalonia in the 30s before the Civil War. So what was it doing here in Paris? The fascists stole it in 1938. They killed my father, but not me. I escaped. I have been looking for it ever since. You have to help me find it. Tell me about yourself. I am Tiago Marquez, the rightful owner of La Maledicción. What else is there to tell? You traveled all the way from Catalonia? 
No, since the war, I've lived in France, in the southwest. And now I want the painting back. Did you lose all your family in the Civil War? When they came for us in 38, I fled with my mother. But my father was not so lucky. I'm sorry. I would have stayed and fought for freedom, but I was just a boy. You've got my attention, but if I'm to help you, I need more to go on. I have something. This old photograph. It is of me and my family. See the painting above the fireplace? Yes, it's La Maledicción. The photograph suddenly appeared to link the old man to the painting. You took the photographs at that robbery, huh? I did, yes. I need to see them. Why? Please, I must see them. All right. Here they are. This one was rejected. George got in the way. Typical. Who is this George? Just a friend. He insured the painting. So, he will know who is this liar who claims to own my painting. I don't think he does. He would have told me. This is the best shot I took. They used it in the paper. Yes, it is how I recognize La Maledicción, my painting. It does look like the one in your photograph. So close, but now it is lost again. Here's the thief making off with the painting. What is that tattoo on his arm? Looks like a skull and crossbones. Headhunters, hmm? You will find him, and then you will find my painting. I can try, monsieur. You must, mademoiselle. Mm, this shot didn't come out too well. It's perfect. Perfect? Finally, la malediction in all its splendor. The lines, the color, the detail. It's been so long since I've seen it. Then take it. That shot is no good to me. Really? Thank you, mademoiselle. Marquez's story was very interesting, but I needed to corroborate it. I wondered if the gallery kept ownership records. And while I didn't wholly trust him, this was the one lead that I didn't want to lose. Where are you staying? What? Nowhere. Here, perhaps. I didn't want him to stay in my apartment. There was another solution. My neighbor is out of town for a few days. You could stay there. Yes, that would be good. Thank you. Great, let's go. Adam said that he would leave his back key under the mat. My neighbor had left a key for me under the doormat. Which reminded me I hadn't watered his plants for a week. The key wasn't there. The door was locked, but my neighbor always left a key under the mat. The gap was wide, but not wide enough for my fingers. Using the sticky chewing gum, I was able to fish out the key.
This will do. Glad it's up to standard. I have to go out, monsieur. Ronnie had promised me the front page if I got an interview with the painting's owner. And he was a crazy Spaniard claiming to be just that. I needed to find out who had put the painting up for sale. Maybe there was more to find at the gallery. Len was sitting outside the cafe. He looked dazed. Hello, Monsieur Len. Ah, the delectable Nicole Collard, super sleuth. How may I be of service? I was hoping I'd find you here. Always available for a lovely lady such as yourself. Henri's death, it must be so very hard for you. Yes, I shall miss him deeply. We had such a very special relationship. The loss is so hard to endure, even for a man of such inner strength as myself. What do you know about the owner of La Maledicio? That was Henri's business. He found the painting, and did the deal with the owner. Would anybody else know anything about the owner? Not likely. He kept especially quiet about that one. But he always kept a manifest for every exhibition. I'm writing a follow-up piece on the gallery theft. Ah, so you need an inside view. Authoritative. Something like that. The police have finished in the gallery. We could chat in the office. It's much more comfortable. More... intimate. I might even be able to rustle up a little bottle of champagne. Maybe later. I have some things to do first. Maybe next time, then. You mentioned the manifest. How would one get a look at that? One might start in the office. That's where Henri kept most of his paperwork. About the gallery? Of course, my dear. We can go there now, if you would like. That sounds great. We can discuss my ordeal over a glass of champagne. A cozy chat with Lane was the last thing I wanted. But it was my best hope if I wanted to get a look around the office. So, what are we waiting for? After you, my dear. The place was heaving with junk. Finding what I wanted wouldn't be easy. As Lane sat down, something stuck out from beneath the cushion. It looked like a folder. Whatever it was, the police had missed it. I needed to get it. Come, join me on the couch. I'm ready for you. You will be gentle with me, won't you? Oh, I'm never gentle, Monsieur Lane. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Do call me Hector. Lane hadn't noticed the folder. With that amount of padding, who would? The only way to get hold of it was to distract him. Monsieur Lin? Hector, please. So you really don't know who owns this sap? I'm sorry, my dear, I really don't. I see Henri had a statue of himself. Yes, 
For a man of high aspiration, he had alarmingly low taste. Nevertheless, I shall miss him. We were like family. What will happen to this place now? Henri's widow will decide, poor soul. She may find it in her heart to keep me around. Oh, I'm sure she will. Is there anything you can tell me about the painting? It was an absolute treat to come across it. A true, undiscovered gem. There is no denying it is a fantastic painting. What can you tell me about the religious significance? Of course, there is a deep religious symbolism locked within the painting, too. Central to this must be the Pantheon of Saints. Oh, Hector. Perhaps I will join you in that glass of champagne. But of course, champagne, nature's balm in troubled times. To new friends! To love! Oh, mon dieu, that is so cold! Oops, silly me. I am so sorry. I'll have to dry this off. Don't you worry, my dear. In the folder was a list of all the paintings in the exhibition. The Maledictio had to be there. It was. And next to it was the owner's name. Mr. Madovsky. The police had obviously not spotted the folder. I put it back. I had what I needed for my story. Monsieur Lane, thanks for everything. But I think I hear my editor calling. Ma chérie, no need to leave so soon. It, it, it's only a little spillage. And I found out who claims to own La Maledexio. Some guy named Madovsky. Sounds Russian, right? Madovsky, my god. Who is he? He's new on the oligarch block. Fresh into London from Russia with ambition and a bloody reputation. Call Art, this is way over your head. I'm gonna put a more experienced crime journalist on the story. I can't afford for you to get hurt. Relax, Ronnie, this is my story. Leave it with me. Let's discuss it over lunch tomorrow. Okay. But don't do anything more. See you tomorrow. Ronnie didn't trust me on this story, but I wasn't going to let him give it to someone else. I was going to have to move fast. Come in. Hi, Georges. Great to see you. Hope you don't mind me just dropping in. No, not at all. How are you getting on? Pretty good. I found the gun that was used in the robbery. I'm impressed. Yeah? Well, Nave wasn't. He accused me of trying to plant it, and then of being involved in Henri's death. Then he threw me into a cell. He couldn't make a stick, of course, so he had to let me go this morning. But he's convinced I'm involved. So if I put a foot wrong, he'll nail me next time. But, hey, on the bright side, have I got a story for you. Annette, the manager at Vera Security, lied about the owner of the company. When I pieced together that shredded letter, I got a name, Medovsky. Medovsky! That's the same guy who claims to own La Maledictio! What? He owns the painting and Vera Security? He has to be the one behind this whole scam. You're telling me! We have to be sure. What the?
I cannot sleep on that bed. It is too soft. Josh, this is Senor Marquez. Uh, nice to meet you. Hmm. So you are this George, huh? Senor Marquez is staying in the apartment across the hall. Apparently, he's the real owner of La Maledicio. What? I thought you said Madowski was the owner. Senor Marquez claims the painting was stolen from his family during the Spanish Civil War. Really? Do you have any proof? Senor Marquez, could you show him the photograph? Who is this? My father. When they came for us in 38, I fled with my mother. But my father was not so lucky. Who's this? My mother. A good woman. A saint. How can we prove this is you as a child? The dates would tie up shells. It was a grand fireplace. A pair of statues stood on plinths on the mantelpiece. That's definitely La Maledizio hanging on the wall? It belonged to my family, so it belongs to me. If the painting really was stolen during the 1930s, then this Madovsky guy has no legitimate claim to it. But how can I be sure that you're the boy in that picture? I can prove it. Look at my father in the photograph. You see the medallion he's wearing? He gave it to me just before he died. This medallion has been in our family for hundreds of years. It's definitely the same medallion. A snake eating its own tail. That's also on the painting. It is the Ouroboros. The what? The Ouroboros. It is a sign of my people, my family, my faith. The Gnostics. My father was a Gnostic leader. The Maledicio is sacred to the Gnostics, hence they both display the Ouroboros. A priest I met said the painting was the devil's work, a thing of evil. Ha! <laughs> he would say that. Do not believe all you hear from the church. Whatever you think, the painting is mine. If Marquez was the true owner of Maledicio, then Madovsky had no legal claim to it. Might be tough to prove, but if I could we wouldn't have to pay out on the insurance. So, if the painting belongs to you, how did Madovsky get it? The fascists stole it. It went to Madrid, then Berlin, then, after the war, to Moscow. After that, it was lost, until now. We need to talk to this Madovsky, but how do we find him? It was a cheap bottle of wine. Hey, Nico? Yes, Josh? What do we know about this Madovsky character? Ronnie said he was dangerous and very rich. He claims to be the owner of La Maledicio. And appears to be the boss of Vera's security who were supposed to protect it. Now that kind of figures. The best way to steal something is to get hired to look after it. But why steal a painting you already own? We need to talk to this guy. To do that, we need to find him. So let's go over what we know about the thief. Okay, well, he had a distinctive tattoo on one arm. And his helmet had Waterloo motors across it. Not a lot to go on. You said the thief had a tattoo. On his arm, it was a skull and crossbones with headhunters written around it. We need to track down Waterloo Motors. Have you tried the internet? I've been kind of busy. Okay, let's have a look. Waterloo Station, Battle of Waterloo, Waterloo Kebabs, Waterloo Sunset, ah, uh, here we go. Waterloo Motors. It's a garage in London. I'll send the number to your phone. Senor Marquez. Yes, George? 
So, La Maledicio belongs to your family? It did. Once it was stolen, I did not believe I would ever see it again. You must have been excited to see the painting again. It was a miracle. You mentioned the Gnostics. What can you tell me about them? It is not important. A religious sect, that is all. My family were Gnostic. They were a peaceful, good people. I found some evidence that ties Henri to the Dodgy Security Company. That doesn't surprise me. It sounds as though the whole thing was set up. I found this completion note for the security work done at the gallery. They went against my recommendations. And now my painting has been stolen. Hi. How can I help you? My name is George Stobart. I'm investigating a murder that was committed here in Paris. What's that going to do with us? The guy we're looking for was wearing a helmet with Waterloo Motors on it. Oh, yeah. It's a very popular helmet. I don't suppose you know who might have bought one? Well, not unless you've got any more information, mate. The killer had a tattoo on his arm. It said, Headhunters. Oh, uh, I know that guy. Yeah, he, uh, he bought one of our helmets just the other day. Terrific. Do you know his name? Nah. He brings his boss's Merc here to have it serviced. Word to the wise, though. Oh, yeah, he don't mess about. The car's registered on Dutchy Street, isn't he? I mean, that's all I know, mate. Sorry. No, that's more than enough. You've been a great help. Thanks for your time. Bingo. Good work. That has to be the guy. And now we've got his address. How about a trip to London? I thought you'd never ask. Senor Marquez, will you be okay here? The bed is uncomfortable. But it will do. Come back quickly with the painting, eh? 